they should not stand in the wisdom of man, but stand in the power of God. They should not stand in the wisdom of man, but stand in the power of God. Hello, Darcy from Brisbane. In revival centers, you hear a lot about speech, about speaking in tongues. Why did God choose speaking in tongues as a sign, as the sign of receiving the Holy Spirit? I speak English. Well, not very good at it. Australian English. G'day, mate. Language identifies where we are from. French, German, Greek, Pigeon English. There's over 800 dialects in, in Papua New Guinea. I can speak a little bit of pigeon, I can understand it a little bit better than I speak it, but at least I can communicate with my brothers and sisters there. The language we speak can even determine where we are from. Our age maybe, Old English, Latin, Greek, all that sort of stuff. There is a story early in the Bible where people wanted to build a tower to reach to the heavens. Let, Genesis 11, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach under the heavens, it says. Let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad. So there were people way back in those early times, without the knowledge that we have today, about space, no oxygen. Um, but God came down and confounded their language because he did not want them to go and do something foolish. Don't take it wrong, mankind is still trying to reach the stars today. The Bible says in James that the tongue is a fire. A tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. That's this tongue. So the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and it setteth on the fire of hell. The Bible says that no, no, that by the tongue that can no man tame. We can't control this tongue at all. It causes wars and rumours of wars and death and destruction. The way that we speak, even with inside our family, sometimes it can cause strife and difficulties. But God tells us in Zephaniah that he would return unto his people a pure language, a clean language that he would give unto his people. Now this brings us to the statement, one of the last statements that Jesus said in Mark 16. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast the devils, cause all the false ideas and religions to go, and they shall speak with new tongues. This word new tongue, new, is uh, kanos, and it means in freshness, in respect of age, new. Not something old, but new. Language tongues is language glossa. In Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, was when this Holy Ghost was poured out. And it was the birth of the church. They had been gathering there, about 120 of them initially, and they received this Holy Spirit, came down and fell upon them and moved like a fire, and they all began to speak in these glossa, these glossglaia, these languages. And it astounded the people that heard them. Another 3,000 got added to the church that day. In Acts chapter 10, uh, the household of Cornelius, Peter had a vision, uh, Cornelius, uh, he heard, uh, God heard his words. And while Peter, when Peter came to um, Cornelius' house, while Peter heard these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them, which heard the word. And they and the circumcision were astonished. Who, which believe were astonished? As many as came with Peter um, had received this Holy Spirit. And it says there, verse 46, For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. And then God answered, then Peter said, can any man forbid water that he should not be baptized? Another verse is, um, chapter, is Acts chapter 19. Paul came to, the, to Ephesus and he found uh, certain disciples there. And he said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? These were believers that had heard uh, the message from some of the disciples of, of John the Baptist. And Paul had asked him, have you received the Holy Ghost? And they said, we're not even heard whether it be a Holy Ghost. And verse 6, and Paul laid his hands upon them, and the Holy Ghost that came upon them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And there were about 12 of them. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you will speak in tongues. It is what Jesus said would be the sign, the evidence. It is a part of to be born again, born of the water and of the Spirit. 
This does differentiate us between religions of the world today because we do believe what is said there in the Bible. We do believe it's what is said right there. The confusion over the voice gifts, well, that's another subject and uh, that can be addressed at a later time. Thank you.